What is up you guys, it's Soul Reaper LPs Here with the finale of Soul Blade And yeah, and basically I'm gonna show you guys what this part's gonna consist of Edge Master Mode I'm gonna show you guys what that mode's like But I'm not gonna do a full LP of that Maybe like a mission or something I'm gonna show off practice And I'm gonna show off team battle mode So yeah, I think first I'm gonna play, I don't know, team battle mode well, and yeah, so yeah, this mode, you basically, I don't know, you make up like a team and stuff, like how much people you want. I'm just gonna choose two. And yeah, um, probably, okay, let's see who we haven't played as yet. I'm probably gonna play as, hmm, I don't fucking know, I'll play as Sung Mina. And I'll have a team with... Cervantes. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I'll have a team with Cervantes. Okay. So, yeah, so this is team battle mode. Battle one. It's fight. basically just. Aw, oh, fucking Siegfried. So, yeah, so basically this is team battle mode. You basically defeat each other, and let's say whoever wins faces the next person, and it's basically just last man standing. But if you win. And yeah, I I don't know. I don't mind Song Mina's gameplay in this, but I prefer her gameplay in the much later games just because she lacks a lot of combos. I find, and yeah, so, yeah. I just find this mode okay. I just don't like the fact that you don't really get to choose the computers, and yeah, and I don't I don't know. I find this mode just okay. It would have been a lot cooler if they had it like an arcade mode, like a team arcade mode. So yeah, it would have been a bit cooler if they had that. But yeah, that's basically just team battle mode, it's really short. And yeah, it's just not really anything too special. So yeah, so now I'm gonna show off the practice. Welcome. And yeah, for the practice, I'm gonna play as... Hmm. You know what? I know I don't like him, but I'm gonna play as Mr. Rugi. Just because I haven't really showed off his gameplay, and I'm not gonna show off Cervantes' screw him, he pissed me off too much. So yeah, um, I, I don't know, I'll beat the crap out of Huang. So yeah, practice mode, it's, it's just like any other practice mode. You have like your opponent doing nothing, you, it tells you whether you're doing a middle move or a high move or a low move, and you get to control the computer whether you make them do nothing, crouch, guard and stuff, and yeah, that's basically what you could do with the computer. And. Yeah, and actually, I want to show off something. This is what happens when your weapon breaks. They fly out of your hands, and then you start punching and stuff. It's kind of like Tekken now. And let's see how the throws are like. So yeah, you just throw them down and stuff. And yeah. This is basically what the gameplay is like when you lose your weapon. It's exactly like Tekken then. And yeah, I think that's actually why they took it out in later games. I actually don't mind the fact that your weapon could break, it just makes it that much more realistic. It was a cool feature, I really liked it. And yeah, that's basically what happens when your weapon breaks. And I just thought that I'd show that off. And yeah, and now I'm gonna show off Edge Master mode. And yeah, I'm probably just gonna do one mission and that's it. And yeah, I just... Like, I feel bad that I'm not doing a full playthrough of this. But you, you guys have to understand, this mode's really hard and stuff, and I wouldn't be able to do it. And second off, I... I don't know, I wanna get started on my next LP soon, too. And I wanna keep that promise of finishing this game up soon, too. So yeah, I'm gonna play as Wang. And yeah. Then you have this neat little intro and stuff. You have this for each character you play as. 
And yeah. It's pretty much just Wang's intro. I love the music in this. So yeah, so sorry that I was quiet for a second. It's just that I wanted to listen to the intro music. I love it a lot, and yeah, I just felt like listening to it. So yeah, so with this mode, it tells you about your character, Huang, his age, when he was born and stuff, his height and everything. I don't mind them showing that the story mode, but I prefer like what they did at like Soul Calibur 2 and stuff, where each character has their own profile, and yeah. And this is just like a little story and stuff. I'm sorry I'm not gonna read this and stuff just because I don't care that much. And yeah, you have your little objective written in red, like beat him quickly and stuff. And yeah. I'm gonna kick Mr. Rugi's ass. And yeah. First, Mitsurugi fight. And yeah, this is Edge Master mode. I know it seems easy just because this is the first mission, but it's just Fuck off, Mitsurugi! Okay, let me fucking get up, you prick. Okay, there, I think he's almost dead now. Fuck you. So yeah, this is probably the only time I'm gonna be playing as Huang, just because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be playing the Dreamcast version of this of like Soul Calibur and stuff because I don't have access to it but if I do I'll play it but if I don't then I'm probably gonna be playing Soul Calibur 2 I'm not gonna, I don't know I'm not gonna be playing Soul Calibur 2 in a while but yeah don't worry you guys I will play someday but I have to rebuy the game first of course because I was dumb enough to sell mine because I sold mine as a kid but I still have Soul Calibur 3 so that's pretty awesome Okay, let's try to get this ring out. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we finally beat this. And yeah. So yeah, so after when you beat each opponent, you take their weapon and stuff and you use them for your own and yes you could use this in arcade mode and stuff but I just chose not to I don't know why I just didn't feel like it and yeah and that's basically edge master mode but before I end this off I just wanna show you guys one more thing I'm just gonna st skip this and stuff and yeah and go on to the battle Guest fighter. So yeah, if you guys notice, there's guest fighters in Edge Master Mode 2. This is actually Sung Mina's dad. I know that he seems unfamiliar and stuff just because I haven't been Huang or Sung Mina's stories because that's when you see him really. But yeah, it's pretty awesome that they have guest fighters. It's too bad he's not really a playable character and stuff. And yeah, so yeah, so I just thought that I'd show you guys this. He's gonna be familiar to you guys once I show off the endings, and I'll show off the endings right after this video and stuff, so don't worry about that. There's gonna be no dialogue in the ending videos, and I included every single ending, even the endings that Yuri saw in my other videos, just so that it's easier for you guys to compare each ending and stuff, and yeah. So yeah, you guys, that's it for my Soul Blade LP. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and stuff, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.